The earth-shattering success of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the late 1980s changed the course of pop culture history and created an entire subgenre of clones, copycats, and wannabes. Many would attempt to replicate the formula, but few could make a legitimate claim to the legacy of the heroes in a half shell. And only one of them deployed cattle ranching puns with such calculated volume and frequency as to redefine the English language as we know it. Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is the history of Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa. Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa was a 26-episode animated series that ran two seasons in 1992 and 1993. It is to cartoons, toys, and action figures what the rump cap is to the sirloin, a very specific joke for a very specific audience. As the American frontier expanded to the west at the end of the 1800s, a radioactive comet plunged through the Earth's atmosphere and crashed into the surface with the force of a thousand cattle drives. That kind of collision must have done some damage, left a mark. The question is, is it canyon? No, the impact resulted in the raising of a literal skyscraping, flat-topped elevation upon which a city in the clouds was founded. Moo Mesa, the southwest Mount Olympus, would serve as home to the new Gilded Age gods, a trough of anthropomorphized ranch life. Scorpions, pumas, dogs, rabbits, buzzards, all those that were touched by the intergalactic influence mutated into new life forms coexisting with their previous species. Cow boys, cow men, cow ladies, and cow cows. They all call Moo Mesa. A home. Before we go any further, for the purpose of this discussion, cow has two meanings. Cow has three meanings. One, cow means cow, which is to say that there are actual, regular, unmutated cows in this world. Cows as we understand them, female, domesticated, bovine. Two, cow means cow, which refers to the post-mutation, anthropomorphized species of bovine derivative creatures. It is gender neutral. Cow, in this case, can refer to both cows and bulls and any two-legged bovine creature that walks, talks, and calls Moo Mesa home. Three, cow is an acronym, C-O-W, which stands for Code of the West. This is the most important use of the word as it is the cow in the name of the show and the understood usage when a character refers to the cow boys. What they are actually saying is the Code of the West boys. After the comet crash and subsequent mutation, a civilization develops mirroring the American Southwest. Everything from banking to blacksmithing, farming to fashion design, entertainment to education, law enforcement to leather... working... Is it cannibalism? If you're copying humanity, you're going to have to take the bad with the good. Corruption and crime are just as prevalent in this sample size society as they are in the world at large. Fortunately, there are those who will answer the call to protect the innocent and hold the guilty accountable. When Mayor Oscar Baloney and Sheriff Terrible, no, Dan, you promised you weren't gonna roll your eyes. When they attempt to use their positions of power and influence for personal gain or to take advantage of the less fortunate citizens of Cowtown, the Cowboys of Moo Mesa, Marshall Moo Montana, Colorado Kid, and the Dakota Dude are there to put things right. Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa was created by Ryan Brown. Brown earned his professional comic book chops starting on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics, first at Mirage Studios in 1985, and then later at Archie Comics after the Turtles went mainstream. In addition to working on Ninja Turtle comic books, Brown also designed several of the toys that would be included with the line of Ninja Turtle action figures produced by Playmates Toys. Hothead Scratch, Monty Moose, King Lionheart, Half Court Worm, Scumbug, Leatherhead, Ray Filet, Sandstorm, Mondo Gecko. Ryan Brown was well-versed in the anthropomorphization of animals. In fact, you might say he was at home in this range. That experience would drive his affinity for these types of characters. Pasture, average artist, Ryan and writer Stephen Murphy would go on to create the Mighty Mutanimals, a spin-off series featuring a team of anthropomorphized characters from the world of the Turtles. Mighty Mutanimals was a legit in-world creation amidst a herd of competitors trying to do the same thing ever since the Turtles found fame in the comics world back in 1984. From adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters to preteen dirty gene kung fu kangaroos, from mildly microwaved prepubescent kung fu gophers to geriatric gangrene jujitsu. 
jujitsu gerbils. From adult thermonuclear samurai pachyderms to cold-blooded chameleon commandos, from samurai pizza cats to battle toes. If it worked for turtles, why wouldn't it work for every other type of animal? Sure. There are those who look at cows the way they are and ask why. I dream of cows that never were and ask why not. The Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa cartoon was based on a line of action figures designed by Ryan Brown, produced by Hasbro in 1991. Brown then sold the concept to ABC Television where it would be produced by Greengrass Productions and Mini Mountain Productions in association with King World Productions and FlexTech Television. Season 1 was animated by Gunther Wall Productions and Season 2 by Ruby Spears Enterprises. It aired in the United States on ABC Network on Saturday mornings, 13 episodes from September to December of 1992, and then again for 13 more from September to December of 1993. It also hit YTV in Canada where it would actually have a longer life where it aired through 1999, and despite not being renewed for a third season, ABC would continue to run the Cowboys through 1994 in the US, and they would later pop up in 1998 on Toon Disney until 2001. The cast featured season animation voice actors like Jim Cummings as the Dakota Dude, Jeff Bennett as Colorado Kid, Marshall Bravestar himself, Pat Fraley as Marshall Moo Montana, and the Joe Piscopo as Sheriff Terror Bull. Tim Curry showed up as Jacques Lebeef, Brad Garrett as Longhorn Silver, Rob Paulson as Cody Calf, Neil Ross as Bat Blastigun, Michael Bell as Brewster Cogsbull, Sally Struthers as Bessie Bluebell, and Kate Mulgrew as Barbed Wire Babs. Not a Peter Cullen or Frank Welker in sight. Mark Hamill is listed, but to this day, no one knows which cow sounds from the show came out of his mouth. Mark, if you're watching, if you're heifer available for a call to discuss what happened with your farmer employer, we'd appreciate it so we can stable this discussion without reservation. The theme song tells the story of how Moo Mesa and the Cowboys came to be, everything you need to know to get started with an episode. It was performed by singer-songwriter Billy Dean and co-written with Verlin Thompson. Actually, kind of a big deal at the time, Billy had just scored his first number one song on the country music charts and toured with the Judds. Moon Montana, Dakota Doug y Colorado Kid están siempre listos para enfrentar a los malos Buffalo Bull y Jerónimo. ¿Quién será el enemigo enmascarado? Forman tu colección del oeste salvaje. Cowboys, otra excelente idea de New Toys. Hasbro's line of action figures that kicked off the Moo Mesa craze had 10 figures each with four points of articulation and a vehicle. About the same size, design, aesthetic, and functionality to fit in with the Ninja Turtles collection you had already built. Moo Montana, Colorado Kid, and Dakota Dude were supported in their law enforcement efforts by Geronimo Moo, Buffalo Bull, and Colonel Cudster. Together they opposed the Cow Bullies, Saddle Sore, Boot Hill Buzzard, and Five Card Cud. Scofflaws led by, of course, corrupt Sheriff Terror Bull. Each figure was packed with an accessory or two themed to their character, their legs incapable of movement but providing a sturdy base. The only vehicle in the line was the Wild West Iron Horse, a steam locomotive engine. With whistle-stop ears, red-hot scorching mane, the pull-string motor activates thunder and buck and stampede action. It had arrow-proof, waterproof protective boilerplate armor, jackknife suspension, chili powder pistons, and a one-of-a-kind weapon system. But... Is it Beans Cannon? Yes, the Wild West Iron Horse featured a Cano Beans Cannon mounted to the cow catcher, mounted to the pilot on the front of the train. That's the wedge-shaped nose piece that knocks stuff out of the path of the engine to prevent accidents. With it, you can deliver a last supper at 250 meters per second. What a savory way to go. The Cowboys and Cow Bullies were featured in a series of comics published by Archie Comics. Three issues of a miniseries from December of 1992 to February of 1993. That was followed by three issues of a regular series in March, May, and July of 1993. The boys would find their way to the arcade in 1992 with Konami's Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa. It was a corn-operated, side-scrolling, run-and-gun shooter-type game where players could choose from Moo Montana, Colorado Kid, the Dakota Dude, and Buffalo Bull. Suspiciously similar to Konami's previous release, Sunset Riders, you could play by yourself or run full four-player corn op. Ryan Brown worked directly with Konami to ensure the fidelity to the source material. Unfortunately, the game does not appear to have been ported to any home systems. 
Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa were supported by all the things. Storybooks, coloring books, fruit snacks, lunch boxes, coin banks, plastic dinnerware, nightlights, watches, backpacks, shoes, sweaters, and if you're looking for a way to stay awake, give yourself a quick mental injection of horror with the Marshall Moo Montana latex mask with vacuum-formed cowboy hat. <laughs> Some of the episodes were released on home video in 1992 by Random House Video, however, it has not been officially released on DVD yet. If you look around, you can find it unofficially, but you didn't hear that from me. The only other option is to check out the episodes that have been uploaded to sites like YouTube before they're run out of town. In 2006, the denizens of Moo Mesa showed up on an episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sort of. During the episode Home Invasion, which takes place in the distant future, the turtles find themselves transported to Moo Mesa via a hologram training facility like the X-Men's Danger Room or the holodeck on the Starship Enterprise. They fight several of the cowboys and cowbullies, which can be confusing if you know who those characters are. After all, wouldn't the turtles join forces with Marshall Moo Montana? Ryan Brown has been asked this question directly and explained that multiple characters were provided to the animation studio and were properly labeled as two good guys and bad guys. However, time makes fools of us all and deadlines more so. The crunch of production resulted in the misuse of character designs that had no real significance to the animators producing the cells for the show. The turtles were never intended to fight the cowboys, only the cowbullies. The lack of time meant that Brown wasn't able to see it before it went to air and there was no way to correct it once it was finished. And then they spelled his name wrong in the credits. What a savory way to go. The boys were back in 2007, Tales of the TMNT Volume 2, Issue 21 by Mirage Studios. After being transported through a wormhole, they find themselves in New York City where they team up with the Turtles to capture Terror Bull. They come back again in Issues 32, 52, and 58. In 2008, writer Tristan Jones was purportedly developing a new comic with artist Fernando Leon Gonzalez Jr., but it was never completed. At this point, the brand is kept alive by the fan community, which always has been and always will be enthusiastic about the adventures of anthropomorphized heroes and villains. <laughs> There is no Cowboys of Moo Mesa movie in the works. No remastered, super articulated ultimates from Super 7, right? Right. Okay. The mainstream legacy of the show didn't quite reach the degree of pop culture influence that their cousins, the Ninja Turtles, did. As Entertainment Weekly put it in a review of the show in 1992, quote, This animated effort about cowboys who are literally cows is a real bum steer. All told, Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa is utterly, er... Utterly dull kid TV, D minus, end quote. Technically, that is a passing grade, and in stake terms, the lowest passing grade is still an A, so well done, everyone. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott might take issue with Entertainment Weekly's characterization. His brother Thaddeus was named after a soap opera character. His other brother Jace was named after a grocery store clerk. And Rain Dakota Prescott was named after the Dakota dude himself. As his brother Tad explained his mother's process, quote, strongest bull was Dakota dude. Sure enough, she got a bull, end quote. In the fight against evil, there is no such thing as too many heroes. Great darkness must always be countered with great light. When corruption threatens to overwhelm us, we rely on those who came before us to show the way. Whether it be mutant turtles or radioactive moo men, always look for the helpers. Listen to their wisdom. The meaning may change, but the words are everlasting. Cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga, indeed. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you very much to those of you who already are. If you haven't heard, we started a second channel called Toy Galaxy 2, that's T-O-O. -O. Head over there and subscribe for stuff we don't post here. If you're in the position to help the channel grow, please visit our Patreon or become a YouTube channel member. Please share this video and let us know in the comments down below who you think would win in a fight. The Ninja Turtles, the Cowboys, the Street Sharks, the Extreme Dinosaurs, the Biker Mice, the Swat Cats, the Avenger Penguins, Samurai Pizza Cats, Battletoads, Mighty Ducks, Bucky O here, here. <laughs> Help me out here, I think I lost the plot. What are we even doing? Cut. <laughs>